What do we need to do to turn this whole situation around? And the answers are really very simple, extremely simple, and they're more in the realm of public policy than they are of science. The first is basically the precautionary principle. Do not allow any corporation to introduce into commerce any product, process, or technology which has not been thoroughly and independently tested and independently validated. Insist that this evidence be validated by non-governmental organizations and insist on the principle of risk avoidance and risk prevention rather than accepting risk and attempting so-called to manage risk. That's the first. That's an absolute ban on any new or poorly tested, untested technologies. The next is toxics use reduction. By that I mean phase out the current use of toxic and cancer causing chemicals. Now is this pie in the sky? Not at all. Not one bit. In 1988, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, working, having the ground having been prepared by a coalition of people from the University of Lowell, Massachusetts, environmental groups, and some responsible industry in Massachusetts, passed a Toxic Use Reduction Act, which stated that we will, in collaboration with engineers and industrial hygienists, develop methodologies for phasing out toxics. And they have been extraordinarily successful in, relate, in regard to a reduction of to to hazardous waste disposal and, in re and in, uh, with relation to phasing out the use of chlorinated organic solvents. And this can be bolstered by a series of tax incentives and dis disincentives. You offer the incentives to the companies that are phasing out hazardous products and disincentives to, to those who know about the, the hazardous products but refuse to, uh, refuse to um, act on this. In this country and in all great democracies, we believe every citizen has the right to have access to all information except validated trade secrets, of which there's very, very few, and defense and security. However, US and German and American and citizens all over democracies are denied the right to have information which lies buried in government and industry files or relatively inaccessible in the scientific literature. Once you give this information to the public, you'll have a grassroots revolution demanding safety. Dying from cancer ain't a very pleasant, ain't a very pleasant business. And seeing your wife or your children dying from cancer isn't a very pleasant business. Given that opportunity, I'll give you a hundred to one. You'll see an international grassroots democratic revolution in which people demand the right to know. That's a winner. Nobody can argue against that. The next is transparency of decision making. So much decision making is made behind closed doors, as it was with Enron. Without any safeguards, the FAO, WHO, committees in Geneva, that's the Food and Agriculture Organization, World Health Organization, they meet in private. They have industry consultants, no representatives of non-governmental organizations. So balanced decision-making um, and transparent decision-making in the National Cancer Institute uh, and the American Cancer Society lead committees. There are no representatives of individuals and scientists who are knowledgeable and vocal in their demand for cancer prevention. Members of corporations that knowingly refuse to divulge information on hazards of their products or processes, or their management, management or their R&D staff, should be subject to criminal penalties. And both Senator Kennedy and, uh, in 1978 or 79, and Congressman Conyers attempted to pass white collar crime legislation, and I testified in Conyers' legislation and provided a detailed listing of companies, major corporations, with examples of how they manipulated, suppressed, or destroyed information. What you need is an, is a, is an agency which is responsive to citizens and which has rights of investigations, 
like anti-cartel activities, and which reports directly to Congress. With this package of legislative proposals, we could, within one decade, help move and help reverse the cancer epidemic to the relatively low rates of the 1940s, and at the same time, ensure corporate responsibility. The way in which this is going to be done is by a mixture of, of, of white-collar crime legislation and also arousing the public to what democracy really need, means.